You know, first impressions are always important. Your mom, your teachers, your dad, even Peter Banning. That's a Hook reference, by the way, and if you haven't seen Hook, what did you do with your childhood? But it's true. The first impressions are always important. But what if I'm having a bad day? Well, as I've said in the past, if you're having a bad day, you really shouldn't be out looking for a woman in the first place. People make impressions of you very quickly. I mean extremely quickly. Research on this varies. Some say it's 30 seconds, others say it's two to three seconds. One study uh, even found out that only a tenth of a second is used to form an impression of somebody. The point is, it's fast, really, really fast. A good average is about seven seconds. Even the fastest runner in the world, Usain Bolt, for example, takes 9.58 seconds to complete the 100 meter dash. That means before he's finished his run, most people have either decided you're worth their time or written you off in their minds and already moved on to the next thing. Imagine, you're sitting at a bar. A woman walks into view from the opposite direction. The first thing you notice is her clothes. She's wearing a black business suit and her hair is flawless. Her nails, her shoes. She takes pride in how she looks and how she carries herself. Her long, confident strides are made with a purpose. You think to yourself, who is this woman? She's probably got some great job as an executive in some sort of office. Her, her place must be expensive and super nice. You've assumed all of this without her saying a word. She sits down and you decide you want to send her a drink and maybe even walk over. In a few seconds, you've noticed her clothes, her hair, her nails, her body language and made assumptions about where and how she works and lives. Now, she could be none of these things, or she could be all of them. But your first impression has caused you to want to pay for her drink and maybe even walk over and connect. You want to talk with her, and when you do, any information you learn from that point on will be affected by those first seven seconds. So what's the lesson here? Well, it's that the information you show in the first seven seconds is vitally important because it helps the other person form a positive or negative first impression of you. So here are some ways to make sure you use those seven seconds wisely. Number one, bathe. <laughs> you know, I used to have an acquaintance who stunk and I mean he was musty. He smelled like pepper all day long, but he was handsome. So girls would give him their number, but they wouldn't stick around very long. They would ask me, he doesn't smell himself? And in truth, he'd grown so accustomed to it that he really didn't smell it. <laughs> but seriously, it's so important that we take care of ourselves before we even step out of the house. You're the first one that you have to give it a first impression to. Number two, right outfit, right place. If you're going to a beach party, don't have on a suit. Fancy restaurant, don't have on torn jeans. If you're going to a pub, don't have on swim trunks and a tank top. Choose your outfit to fit the environment. Going to a rave? Who has raves anymore? Uh, don't have on leather-soled Oxfords and a bow tie. Make it fit. What you have on is also as important as how you wear it. So make sure it fits properly. Oh, God. You know, we've all seen that guy with this medium shirt on, and it's like, where did you get that fifth grade shirt from? Why can I see your nipples? Can you breathe? Skinny jeans, if you're 250 pounds, no, just no. Sagging pants, you're a grown ass man. They don't look good on you anymore. What are you, a prison warrior? And that oversized t-shirt thing went out when you were 15, so please, buy your clothes and your size. <laughs> your face is your money maker. My mom used to say, Make sure the living room and the bathroom and the kitchen are always clean. Why? Because they're the first thing that anyone sees when they come into your home. Well, I'll say the same thing about your face and head. That unshaven, rustic, scruffy, unkept swag is great for some guys. Personally, I don't do very well with facial hair, so normally I'm clean shaven. If you do want to rock a beard or a goatee, at least make sure it's groomed. Use a beard balm. Trim that soup catcher up. Women have this thing about food being stuck in your face. So keep it nice. Now this doesn't mean that you have to do it every day, but do it every week or two. 
get a haircut, get a facial, or do it at home. Whether you're a construction worker or an office guy, a clean, presentable face says that you take care of what you see, that you care about you. Now you're ready to strut. Walk in with some confidence, not like Spider-Man 3, but honest confidence. You know who you are and you know where you're going. You embrace yourself with your head held high, not down and ashamed to be put in public. I had to teach myself how to walk upright, back straight, shoulders straight. I even had to tape my ankles so that when I walked, the outside of my feet weren't like ruining the other side of my soles before the inside were. Your walk shouldn't be forced. It should be relaxed. We all remember Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, that long, lanky, awkward walk that he would do, like he was going to trip over his feet at any moment. Your body language and facial expressions need to line up with the image that you're trying to create with your outfit. Remember, you're being watched from the moment you get out of the car. So keep your head high when you're talking. Maintain a good posture, even in a relaxed situation. Look good for the location, smell good, and of course, make eye contact. Remember, all of these nonverbal cues will be read and interpreted in about seven seconds. Check out our website at CartagenaWomen.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.